Hello world, Robert James Hoffman III here with another installment of The Most Amazing Dance Moves Tutorial! 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 And due to your overwhelming amount of requests, the next move I'll break down is The Rise Up. Now there's a few simple concepts that accentuate the illusion of this effect, but really it just comes down to a couple of basic steps and brute force. So before I get into showing you the right way to do it, the most educational thing I can do for you is to first show you the wrong way to do it, which is also the most natural way to do it. The most natural way to stand up from a flat plank position would be to crawl backwards onto your knees, then put your weight on top of your feet, and stand straight up using your thighs. So the effect of the step comes from rising up off the ground without any of the conventional means. Done correctly, the rise up will look like your body is rising on a straight diagonal line from lying flat on the floor to standing straight up on top of your feet which seemingly defies gravity. So let's, let's get, get into this. this. Obviously, we start out laying flat in a push-up position with your hands by your chest. Obviously. The first thing you're gonna do is start by bringing your right leg up and back as though you're trying to kick yourself in the back of the head. Your hips gonna come off the ground a little bit, but your chest and knees need to stay flat on the ground. Next, you're gonna whip that leg back down while simultaneously thrusting your upper body off the ground. And when I say thrusting your upper body, I mean you shove the ground as hard as you possibly can. Hey, come on now, I want you to think of the person at school that you hate the most. That's the ground. Now shove them like you never want them to steal your fruit snacks again. Now in the middle of this motion is where the magic is. Not only are you going to use the hand thrust to get up, but you're also going to use the momentum of that leg to your advantage. This may already be intuitive to you, but what's going to happen is when your leg is about halfway down that downswing, you're going to jerk your back muscles tight so that you can catch that momentum and help yourself pop up. So between your hands thrusting, the leg kicking, and your back stiffening, once your foot touches the ground, it should be about a foot behind the other foot, and you should already be in as much of a diagonal line as possible. If all these steps were executed correctly, you should have just enough momentum to get yourself barely up right on top of your feet, and voila! Your body will have traveled in a gravity-defying diagonal direction. You are now a sick and nasty dancer. Now remember, this trick requires a very violent thrust off the floor, and like with most tricks, a video camera is your best friend when it comes to learning. A video camera will give you that bird's eye view that can often cut your learning time in half. Or more. And there you have it, the rise up. Don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video please like it and tell your friends about it and if there's any other steps you want me to break down for you put them in the comments below and I'll read them. Also if you like the music you heard in this video it's an awesome little beat that I put together for you to freestyle to and you can find it on my iTunes Robert James Hoffman III link is in the description below. Yes Dance t-shirts, Urban Ninja t-shirts and Contemporary Eric's own Dance Liberty t-shirts signed by the man himself Contemporary Eric. Are all available at www.punchropper.com forward slash gear forward slash and if you want to learn some more cool moves I want you to check out any of these three links right here one two three. But wait, where's Robert? Here's my pretty face.